Hi, I'm Thais, technical evangelist at Varnish Software, and today I'm pleased to announce a brand new feature that is part of the latest Varnish Enterprise 6 release, native TLS support. Historically, Varnish adopted the Unix philosophy, do one thing well, and we've always been about performance and scalability, and we focused on that, which led us to initially not support or facilitate TLS. But as we entered the TLS Everywhere era with projects like Let's Encrypt, it was clear that we needed to support TLS. In 2015, we built a TLS proxy called Hitch, which was purposely built to terminate TLS at scale with the lowest of latencies. It has always served as well, and to this day, Hitch is still a well-maintained part of our reference architecture. Hitch is a separate service that sits in front of Varnish, and it will usually be installed on the same server. It gets connection parameters and TLS certificate information from a configuration file and uses these to process incoming TLS connections and forwards the decrypted requests to Varnish, either over HTTP or over Unix domain sockets. The reason we decided to develop TLS natively in Varnish was to further push the boundaries of performance. A single Varnish server with a well-tuned hitch TLS proxy can process about 100 gigabit per second. Although this is a very impressive number, for some of our clients, this is not enough. By eliminating the need for this extra hop in the network, and by implementing TLS natively in Varnish, we can process more than 160 gigabits per second on a single server. And benchmarks show that this is the fastest and most resource consumption efficient solution on the market. TLS configuration in Varnish is entirely done through the same configuration file that Hitch uses. This means that if you're already using Hitch to terminate your TLS connections, you can reuse the same file. The way we link the file to Varnish is by adding a minus uppercase A runtime parameter that refers to the configuration file's path. Please do not confuse it with minus lowercase a that is used to configure plain HTTP listeners. This means that when Varnish is started and TLS has been enabled, Varnish will read the configuration file, process the front-end declarations and listen on those ports. The certificates that were assigned in the config file will be loaded and associated with the right front ends. In the end, Varnish will be able to process both HTTP connections and HTTPS connections with a very high throughput and very low latency. Connections to the backend can be made over plain HTTP, assuming that this is a trusted network zone, or also in HTTPS, assuring end-to-end -end network encryption. This new release of Varnish that includes native support for TLS further pushes the boundaries of performance and allowing companies with specific bandwidth and latency needs to process more than 160 gigabits per second per server. It's also a great match for users who enjoy the simplicity and who benefit from one less hop in the network and one less service to manage, without having to sacrifice their speed of delivery or the resource efficiency they may have become used to. So thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about TLS support in Varnish either natively or through Hitch, please click the link in the description below. And as always, please like and subscribe.